Heaviest amount of rain, Brittany, will be falling when we're asleep uh, between basically about 2 and 3.34 in the morning. Regardless, tomorrow morning we'll be starting off on the wet side. Not only that, it's going to be windy along the west side of the state. You travel throughout the Columbia River Gorge, you're going to be seeing some heavy snow showers late tonight and into tomorrow. I shouldn't say late tonight. It's uh, almost midnight. Early tomorrow morning and into a good part of your Wednesday you or Thursday, you will be seeing some of those snow showers move through. And a live look now, everything's looking pretty fast. Uh, in downtown Portland, you got the uh, Christmas tree all lit up. I think that's the Hilton. If I'm, I could be wrong, but regardless, you get the idea. Christmas uh, lights are all uh, flickering uh, across much of the city and, of course, your neighborhood as well. Temperature right now of 39 degrees. So, rainy and windy conditions overnight. Heavy snow throughout the Columbia River Gorge and the mountains, like I said. And again, Hood River, three to five inches of snow by the end of tomorrow. And up in the mountains, there's a good chance a few spots could be looking at close to a foot of snow. And uh, there's a slight chance we could be seeing that snow level drop a little bit uh, tomorrow night and into Friday morning, especially throughout parts of the coast range. You're not going to be seeing widespread accumulation. All the mountain snow is really going to be hitting the Oregon Cascades and throughout the Columbia River Gorge. And as we look at the winds, yeah, they'll be anywhere from about 25 to 30 miles per hour. Uh, along the beaches tonight and into tomorrow. By the afternoon, things will kind of quiet down a little bit. And speaking of quieting down, we'll start to see those showers really taper off by late morning and into the afternoon. But again, the snow showers will really start to pile up throughout the Oregon Cascades and a little bit of some uh, slick roads out there, not only from the snow, but there could be some pockets of some uh, freezing rain in a few locations throughout the gorge. I don't think it'll be that much of an issue throughout the, the passes, but still expect to see some uh, slick roads along Highway 26 going west and east uh, late tonight and into tomorrow, and that's going to be the case Friday morning as well. And as we look at Friday morning, you can see we'll see another round of heavy showers. And again, uh, uh, we could be seeing those snow showers kind of pile up a little bit along Highway 26. But behind that is a bit of a warm front heading into Saturday. So we'll start to see those snow melt pretty quickly. And then by Sunday afternoon is when we'll start to see some drier weather move through. But as we look at the rainfall amounts, this is pretty impressive between uh, basically tomorrow all the way into uh, let's say Saturday afternoon over an inch of rain is expected really up and down the I-5 corridor over two inches over Newport and parts of southwest Washington. You'll be seeing some uh, very uh, rainy conditions as well. So as we look at the watches and warnings, this purple color is a winter storm warning throughout the southern Washington Cascades. Regardless, if you're traveling any mountain passes, uh, you're going to be seeing some heavy snow tonight and into uh, basically the next couple of days throughout the C Cascades and the Gorge winter weather advisory. Uh, Eastern Oregon, you have that freezing fog advisor. We talked about the uh, that big pileup out in uh, parts of Washington earlier today. Well, they attribute it to some freezing fog, and you can see over Kennewick and throughout Pendleton is that freezing fog advisory. So if you can maybe avoid traveling in that direction until the later part of uh, the morning hours tomorrow, early part of the afternoon, that's probably a good, uh, good bet to try to do that. Temperatures right now are in the upper 30s and low 40s, and we're not going to be seeing widespread freezing temperatures overnight uh, here in the metro area, but we will be seeing some a bit of a cold uh, amount of uh, kind of a good cold air mass move through by the later part of next week. I'll talk about that in the seven day in just a second, but highs today we topped out right around the upper 30s, to low 40s. So yeah, definitely a cool December out there and tomorrow's going to be just the same with that sunset at 427. Now along the beaches tomorrow, rainy and windy overnight gusts up about 35 miles an hour. Daytime highs in the mid 40s and throughout the valley, you'll be waking up to some rain showers. Again, those showers will be tapering off by the later part of the day and throughout the Columbia River Gorge up to three to maybe five inches of snow by the end of tomorrow. Daytime highs over in Hood River right around freezing and it's going to be a rain and snow mix throughout the central and eastern side of the state and in the mountains. Snow showers a good part of the day. Uh, heavy this will be throughout the morning hours and into the afternoon as well. Pretty much all day long with uh, up to about eight inches of snow and on that uh, seven day forecast, Brittany, we're going to be seeing some cool conditions move through and we stay dry basically from Sunday afternoon and into much of next week. But uh, long range models are kind of hinting to some very cold air moving in uh, by late next week. So we'll see. Hopefully there's no precipitation right. over that cold air, but we are uh, going to be seeing some wet conditions uh, tomorrow and into Friday. Yeah, good.